Hi, I'm Dr. Sarah Beth Redmond, and I'm a professor of biology at Radford University in Virginia. Today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about some of the research that I do as a scientist. I'm interested in the biology of stress and how organisms and their bodies react when they're in environments or situations that cause them to feel stressed out. A lot of the work that I do is done in rats. You can see a picture of one of them here. And we work with rats because their biology and their social interactions are a lot like those of people. So they have similar immune systems to people, which is what I look at as part of how they stay healthy. And they also have similar uh, interactions with each other. They like to play and they like to socialize with each other a lot like people do. So a lot of the research that we do as biologists involves using animals as models, and just the process of being handled can be really stressful for those animals. Um, we have to pick them up and move them around from different cages to, uh, as we do experiments, and we're a lot bigger than they are, so that can be very scary for them. We also sometimes have to hold them in very still positions and uh, administer different treatments while they're being restrained, which if you've ever been held still and not allowed to move, you know, can be uh, pretty frustrating and stressful. Some of the things that we do involve making them move in certain ways, like running on a treadmill so we can study how they exercise and how they use energy. And one of my collaborators uses a test where she actually puts rats into a pool of water and has them uh, swim around. And they're trying to find this little platform that is in the water, but they can't see it very well. So they have to remember and uh, go through uh, swimming to find this platform and uh, get out of the water. They don't like to be swimming. And so it's motivating for them to find the platform quickly. So all of these are things that are useful for us to answer questions as biologists, but also we know that we're causing some stress to our rodents right, through these processes. So one of the questions that I have been asking is how we can change our handling strategies and the way that researchers routinely interact with animals to try and help them not be as stressed out. And this is um, one of my students who's holding a rat. She's restraining this rat. This is something we would do if we needed to make a measurement or take a blood sample. And this piece of equipment here is a recorder that is able to detect the frequencies that rats make noises at. Their vocalizations are very high pitched, so we can't hear them. But actually, while it's being held, this rat is making some noises. So that's what it sounds like when a rat is stressed out and not too happy in its environment. This is what it sounds like when a rat is uh, more comfortable with how it's being handled and is enjoying this situation. So this rat is being tickled by one of my students and we tickle them right between their shoulder blades. That's where they're ticklish. So you can listen to the difference in how it's vocalizing. In addition to the differences we can hear in how rats are actually making these noises, uh, we can observe that their immune responses are uh, getting different signals and keeping them um, more healthy if they are less stressed out. So this is a test we do using the rat's ears. Um, they're very thin and so we can measure how thick they are very easily. And what we do is we take um, different substances and put them on the skin on the rat's ears. So the ones that are on the right here and here, um, we've put uh, a treatment on the, their ears to get them to swell up like they're having an immune response. Um, like they would if they were getting sick. And then the left ear is our control. So we put um, just a water substance on it. It's not going to, supposed to swell up. 
and the more swelling that occurs in the treated ears uh, shows us that more cells from the immune system are responding and that means that that individual is healthier and the rats that are in our low stress handling treatment so they're getting tickled or played with are better at showing this swelling swelling response so that should keep them healthier so why do i study these things um, part of it is to help lab animals have better lives. If they're stressed out all the time by the processes that we need them to do for research, that's not going to be as useful as a model for uh, how biology of rats actually works. And so keeping them in a lower stress environment gives us better quality uh, information. It also makes it more useful when we try to apply the information that we learned from rats to understanding people. If we uh, look at people, they're usually not stressed out constantly by interacting with uh, organisms for research purposes. And so using rats that are stressed out all the time to understand people would be very hard, wouldn't be a good comparison. It's also interesting for me to learn how stress affects different parts of an animal's biology. And it means that me and my students get to hang out and play with little cute rats all the time. So I hope you have enjoyed that. Let me know if you have any questions.